happy Star Wars Day! My name is Kat and I'm from North Vancouver City Library and today I want to share a fun experiment that you can do at home. Did you know that in the Star Wars universe, lightsabers are run with kyber crystals, special crystals that are imbued with the Force by Jedi. At the time of imbuing, they are also given special colors. So for today, we're going to grow our own crystals at home. For this experiment, you are going to need lots and lots of sugar, a big pot, some oven mitts to keep yourself safe, food coloring, a measuring cup, some tall glasses, as well as some type of wooden skewer. You can use skewers, popsicle sticks, um, or like I've used uh, some disposable chopsticks. Um, you're also going to need some type of clip. Lots of people use uh, clothes pegs or hair clips. I didn't have either. So I use two chopsticks that have been connected with two elastic bands here that form a clip. So while you're doing this experiment, I want you to think about three questions. The first one, what is a solution and how is it affected by temperature? Number two, what is a super saturated solution? And number three, what is crystallization? And why does sugar grow on our skewer rather than going back to its granulated form? This experiment starts with step one, which is creating a three to one ratio of sugar to water solution, which means for every one cup of water, you're gonna use three cups of sugar. From there, you're gonna bring that solution to a simmer. You don't wanna fully boil this solution. You're gonna simmer the solution for three minutes and then place it off to the side to cool down for 10 minutes. While it's cooling, cooling down, you can do step two, which is taking your wooden skewer and dipping it in your sugar solution and then rolling it in some sugar. Think about why we might need this base layer of sugar in the crystallization process. From there, you can add your food coloring to your tall glasses. Once the solution has cooled for 10 minutes, you can then pour your solution into the food colored glass. Give it a little stir so that the color is fully dispersed throughout the glass. And then you can dip your skewer into the solution. You're gonna wanna let the skewer sit for a day up to a week. Make sure that you check in on your solution regularly to make sure that no crystals are connecting from the bottom of the glass to your skewer or from the sides. If this happens, you're going to rip the crystals off of the skewer when you pull it out of the glass. When your experiment is finished, you should have a crystal skewer something like this. Mine came out very light. I only used about five drops of food coloring in mine. If you want a brighter color, you're probably going to want to use 10 to 15 drops. Additionally, I also used a four to one sugar ratio um, for my solution and only the skewer turned out. My other experiments ended up turning into glass geodes like this. So make sure you measure your solution right. I hope you have a lot of fun doing this experiment at home and may the fourth be with you.